guys thanks for joining the channel in this video i'm comparing the iphone 13 mini with the iphone se 2020 well, the first thing that sticks out is that the iphone 13 mini has 5g while the se 2020 is lte overall size both of these are pretty small devices um, but the iphone 13 mini is actually smaller in overall size than the se weight wise it is more lightweight as well, the iPhone 13 mini, less than five ounces versus 5.22 ounces on the iPhone SE 2020. Build quality, glass front, glass back, and aluminum frame on both of these devices, so they are similar in build quality. They both have an eSIM built in, which basically means you could activate service without a physical SIM card, and you could have two different data plans at the same time two different phone numbers you get ip68 dust and water resistance on the 13 ip67 on the se which means you get six meters for 30 minutes of water in the 13 mini up to one meter for 30 minutes in the se 2020 the displays in these devices are very different although the overall size is uh, around the same the 13 mini is 5.4 inches versus the 4.7 inches and the se 2020 basically we have a more updated more real estate more all screen phone on the 13 mini versus the old school big bezel on top and bottom with the with the touch id button which takes up um, a lot of room that gives us 85% screen to body ratio on the 13 mini, 65% screen to body ratio on the SE 2020. So it definitely feels outdated. And both of these have a 60 hertz refresh rate on the respective screens. As for OS, they're pretty much the same. The iPhone 13 mini has iOS 15, SE uh, 2020 model launched with iOS 13 and we'll get iOS 15 as well. Chipset A15 Bionic on the 13 mini, A13 Bionic on the SE 2020. Most day-to-day -day apps um, and performance will feel exactly the same on both of these devices. Both are fast. Now, internal storage is more on the uh, iPhone 13 mini. It's double that. It has 128 gigs, which is the 64 gigs in the SE 2020. RAM is 4 gigs on the iPhone 13 mini, 3 gigs of RAM on the iPhone SE 2020. Uh, very similar, you're not getting too much of a difference in RAM. Camera wise, you get an extra camera on the 13 mini, you get that extra ultra wide camera. iPhone SE has a single 12 megapixel shooter, but both shoot 4K. Um, both cameras are very good quality, but you get that extra camera that ultra wide on the 13 mini selfie camera 12 megapixels on the 13 mini 7 megapixels on the se 4k video on the 13 mini 1080p on the se 2020 selfie camera is just perfectly fine on both of these um, both of these have stereo speakers and neither of these have a headphone jack both have bluetooth 5.0 both have NFC for payments. Both are still using the lightning port for charging. You have face ID for unlocking on the 13 mini. You have the touch ID button on the front of the iPhone SE 2020. It's the last model pretty much to support that. Battery wise, the 13 mini um, hasn't been given out yet, the milliamps but it is an improvement over the 12, uh, which will definitely get great battery life, while the iPhone SE 2020 is suffering with an 1800 milliamp battery. It won't get you half a day of battery life. Uh, you both get fast charging on these, 20 watts on the 13 mini, 18 watts on the SE. Both will get you 50% charge in 30 minutes. And they both have wireless charging but the iPhone 13 mini has MagSafe. So the last thing I'm going to compare is the price. The iPhone 13 mini is $700, while the SE 
Well, the iPhone SE brand new is $400, but you could find it for as low as free on prepaid carriers. So if you don't mind the bezels and the battery life on the SE 2020, you should get that one. It's a better buy than the 13 mini. But if you have an older model phone, or if you just want more real estate, or you feel like the, if you like that extra ultra wide camera and you appreciate good battery life, um, the iPhone 13 mini is obviously the better device overall. Um, but there are a lot of people that still like the home button, the, the touch ID on the iPhone SE 2020. But other than that, price-wise, you're getting a lot more value, a lot more bang for your buck on the SE 2020, and still gonna be good for several years to come. But the overall better phone, spec-wise and everything, is the 13 mini. Let me know which one you guys pick, and I'll see you in the next one.